Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are here at Castrum Station. Or what is it called? Castrum Station? Yeah, Castrum Station. Where we want to buy a ship. And we want to buy either the Equilibrium a Battleship or the Frelia a Battle Carrier. They're both demodded. Uh, the Equilibrium has a damaged flight deck. It has two fighter bays, so that's a little bit annoying. The Frelia has a structural damage. And the Equilibrium is around 140,000, 142,000 more expensive. But that's what we're getting. We are getting the Equilibrium. So there we go. That is a huge upgrade to our fleet. And I mean a huge upgrade. And I'm looking forward to trying it. But we need to buy some crew. So how much do we need? A couple of hundred. 250. Let's say 250. Confirm. That leaves us with 20,000 credits. That is not a whole lot. I'm actually... What if we sold this stuff? How much does that give us? 10,000. Let's not do that. It's not worth it. We are going to head back to Odin and repair up or uh, fit out the um, the equilibrium and then we are gonna do some missions I think because we need money so Let's head down to Alpha Dnieper. And it's almost time to either get paid or pay. I don't remember which. We had a monthly income of 55,000. Nice. Not in as bad shape as we could be. One thing the liquid equilibrium needs is a augmented drive field because it is slowing us down to 17 instead of 18, and I don't want that. blow us in the right direction okay we need to go back in there ships manage the colony install all this stuff up confirm and then we need to refit our brand new battleship and I love it we have a couple of fighter bays with spectral defenders which is vacuity PD lasers. Okay, so that is definitely defensive uh, fighters. We have a couple of large energies here. Medium hybrid, large synergy, medium energy, small energy, small energy. Uh, 
Okay. So let's start with large entity. Heavy plasma driver is really nice. I wish I had another one of those. A corrosive plasma breeder. Hmm. Rotation launcher. Large energy. Let, let's start by giving it the augmented drive field and the integrated targeting unit. Yeah. The nav relay actually seems quite nice as well. Oh, it's a shield arc. We want extended shields on that. Remove that. Why? Whoa. It give me extended shield arc. I don't know. Hmm. Give me that. All right, let's leave it at this for now. And let's see, medium hybrid. Are we going to go with... Hypervelocity drivers, I think. This is medium ballistic, right? Or medium uh, hybrid, yeah. All right, so we are going with hypervelocity drivers on those. Uh, then we are going with large synergy. Cyclone Reaper launchers, maybe. Large energy. I definitely want the heavy plasma driver, I think. And then I want some anti shield stuff if I can get it. Shock beam and second one hundred and fifty. No, we want large stuff. We want large stuff. Well, I'll take the invocation launcher. Some small missile. I think I want Sabos. Yeah, 
Sabos. I think we'll do point defense here. What do we have for point defense? I have some long range PD lasers. Uh, this medium, what point defense? Clemency pulse emitter. Or an quest caster. Clemency pulse emitter. Or. Clemency Pulse Emitter. Where is it? There it is. Let's just take what we can. Right, plasma Driver. Disavowal. Scatter PD laser. Long range PD laser, long range PD laser. I think I'll do PD here as well. Something like that. And we definitely need some vents on here. Okay. Let's see. I want plasma driver, invocation launcher on one, hypervelocity drivers, well, hypervelocity drivers on one. So let's just set everything to the back here. Hypervelocity drivers. And I think Sabos, maybe on one, but I'm not sure about that yet. Then I want these guys on two. Maybe these guys on three. And what does the What's the clemency pulse emitter? I forget. That's a PD. Okay. In that case, I think I want Sabos there. Then I want you there. Then I want you there. Actually, I really... It's auto you. Then we have... The hypervelocity drivers are manual, Sabos are manual, and Cyclone Reaper launchers are manual. The rest is auto. Alright. That seems pretty decent to me. We could do with some more flux dissipation, but I just don't have I don't have the, the points for it. So we're gonna try without the resource stockpile.
Full up on that. The fleet. Who is flying this bad boy? Am I flying that? I think I am. Which means that I actually want, I think I want my timid guy flying this thing. Yeah. This seems good to me. We could do with another officer. No, no officer. Let's see, Imperium, Osma Station. No, we're not going up there. And we're not supplying our own station in the hands of the enemy. Not a chance. So what do we have for missions? We have a standard cruiser. I think we can do this now. There's 87 days left. We're further away, so let's try this. A volcanic world in a binary star system. Which one is the binary star system? I get it. I'm guessing it's this one. Let's head up in here. minutes since our last save so maybe we should save and we're going She is. Or he. She. Okay. Bare Bones Fleet. Baxia. Heavy Standard Cruiser. Standard Combat Cruiser. Strike Carrier. Fairy Eagle. Standard Cruiser. A lot of fighters. They are deadly, rickety hard points, strong armor, durable mounts, quality fine maintenance, slow turret gyros, and rapid vent valves. It actually seems quite difficult. You're going in, you're going in. You're going in. You're going in. You're going in. I can't send you in. In that case, you're going in. That's a four-star battle. But if we can take something out quick, then that's fine. Let's have a look. 
look at our ship here. That looks pretty damned awesome. Wow, a lot of points here. Sensor jammer, sensor jammer, two nav buoys, two com, com relays. Well, if we can get the two sensor jammers, that would be really nice. I think let's have you escort that and you escort that. see anything yet. Oh, here they come. It's a little annoying that we can't get a bigger shield arc. Let's strike you. Disabled. Let's have a quick look at the battlefield. It's actually looking kind of okay. We have five deployment points. That's not enough to deploy anything. Carrier down anyway. I think the Dread Eagle is winning that battle. Red Eagle is winning.
to the beating there, buddy. He's down. Alright. Ten deployment points. That's not enough. Let's target you. Disabled. This is going quite well. Uh, let's deploy you. Disabled. Where are the rest of them? close to victory, right? We have destroyed a lot of ships. Nastry. You head over there. Tilia class reports. Lord Combat Redness, that's you. Let's just retreat you. Uh, 
Let's move that. Doesn't seem like there's anything over there. Oh, we won. She didn't even bring in her uh, heavy standard cruisers. It's just the small stuff. And the Baxias, uh, so she retreated with those. Well, we're gonna pursue him. You're deploying, you're deploying. Uh, let's deploy this. Um, you support that. You strike that. a reasonably easy battle. I mean, the Baxias didn't even get to us in the, in the initial battle before we had them running. Alright. We have one claim victory. That little bit got away, that's fine. What do we have? Anything interesting? Unreliable subsystems, compromised armor, defective manufacturer, degraded engines. Not really. Pick through the wreckage. Five Clarity Aphrodites. That's not bad. Though we are focusing mainly on energy weapons. Alright, that's a nice little bounty there, 219,000, plus 21,600 in, in uh, commissions. Let's have a look at combat. Solos three, this three. So that has to be the equilibrium, right? Pilot no 
dog solo. One solo, one assist. Uh, but I guess it's this one really. So the Dread Eagle, three solos, two assists. Me, three solos, two assists. Nashbury, one solo, four assist. It's yeah, pretty good. Okay. Well, that was one bounty. And we have a bit of money again. So what other bounties do we have up here? We could do this one. do this one let's see rocky metallic world in a nebula so that would be here go to system map rocky metallic world let's head there Had some monthly expenses, but that because we refueled and crewed up and supplied up and stuff like that. So that's that was expected. But we'll head down and uh, do this bounty. I'll fly down there in between episodes because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, whoa! Why not leave a like and subscribe? And we'll see you next time. Ah! Get away from me.